So, by now, you should have chosen a product from watchcount.com. So, the product I chose was a smart trash can. And I basically described what it was. You know, you put the bag in front of it, lid opens, drop it in, blah, blah, blah. So, basically, that doesn't really matter. What matters is that you should have a product that you chose from WatchCat that shouldn't have, you know, too many watchers so it has low competition, but again, has a decent amount of watchers so that it's worth selling because people will be looking at it. So, what we're going to do for the next step of my process to find a product is that what you want to do is you want to go to eBay.com. Now, you may be wondering, why we want to go to eBay.com? How would eBay.com help us in verifying that this is a good product. Well, it's actually quite simple. It's simpler than you may think it is. So, what you can do is that you could go to eBay search. You may ask yourself, what is eBay search going to do? I'll show you. You're going to want to go to this button that says advanced here. Then once you're on here, you're going to type in the name of your item. Now, it doesn't have to be the exact name, so you don't have to copy and paste this because you'll probably get the exact listing, and that's not going to help for what we're going to do. So you just want to type in a general name for it. So, like, just, like, maybe three, four-letter name max. So I'm just going to call it Smart Trash Can. That's what I'm going to call it. And before you press Search, what you want to do is you want to go to where it says Search Including, and you're going to want to click Completed Listings. Once you've done that... Then you're going to click the blue button search. And you may be wondering, what is this here? Well, what's here is basically it shows my item, so Smart Trash Can, and it basically shows which listings have sold and which listings have not sold. The green obviously meaning that, you know, for money it sold, and the black obviously meaning, you know, um, it didn't sell. It didn't sell. So why is this important? With eBay, what this information is that obviously, like I said, it shows you how much an item sells. So right here. This will verify for you that the item is a good item because obviously if it sells a lot, as you can see there's a lot of green here, then that means it is a good item and it is an item worth selling. Also, you're also going to want to pay attention to the dates here. Like, if it's recent and it's still selling, that's really good. However, if it's not as recent and it's not selling, then obviously it's selling a good product. But even if it's not recent and it's uh, still selling, so let so for this item, for example, um, the dates for this are kind of like spreading out. So it's July 16th, uh, 15th, 13th, 10th. At the time of recording this video, it's actually July 23rd. And uh, the last sold item was July 22nd. And then it stretches all the way to the beginning of July. So that's actually fine. But I think it would be better, in my opinion, to find an item that, you know, sells recently, sells close to the date to whatever you're doing it, so I'm doing it on the 23rd, but um, you guys obviously will be doing it on a different date, so you might, you might want to look for an item that sells closer to the date in which you're listing it on. But basically, why you're probably wondering why would I even want to do this? Like, I thought like the amount of watches would prove that it's a popular item already. Well, it's like I said before, just because it has a high amount of watches doesn't necessarily mean it's totally a good product, you know? If it was the item, because that can mean a lot of competition, and there's a lot of other factors. And this is kind of one of the other factors, like... You want to make sure that it actually sells. So, watchcount.com kind of acts like, um... Kind of acts like a selection to, like, narrow it down. So, it's kind of like, you know, you go into a mall, basically. You look at all the items. And then eBay, the eBay filter search that we just did by going to advanced, typing in the item, doing complete listings right here. It basically, it's like a filter. It filters out and it sees if the product is actually, you know, worth selling. And it is worth selling, as you can see, because it's in a bunch of green right here, meaning that it's sold. So if you found, if the item you chose, like, it doesn't sell a lot, so it just has a lot of black in it and no green, meaning that, you know, obviously it didn't sell then I'd go back and redo the process again. So, again, you want to go to watchcount.com and find a different item and then run it through the eBay advanced search. So, again, eBay advanced search, what you're going to do is next to the blue search bar, you're going to click advanced. You're going to type in uh, a general name for the item you chose. Click complete listings and do search again. And you want to keep doing that until you find an item with a decent amount of green on it, like this one. Once you do that, 
you pretty much have found a good winning product. So in my case, I have found that the trash can is a good winning product, according to the eBay search result and the watchcalp.com. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Um, if all else I've made myself clear, then we can move on to the next step.